Hey, hi, how are you? It's Crystal again. Apparently I'm again from Whoville. Um, here's what my week was. I get to drink the coffee. I get to drink the toffee. <laughs> M&M creamer, yes I like it. M&M creamer, yum yum. Go, catch go. Ba 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 da ba da ba ba. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Coffee, 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 hey, coffee. I decided not to add any warmth filters to this, so all of you can see just how white everything is. This is how quickly I'm able to walk to work, because we are in the middle of a snowstorm on Saturday. Where, you know, a couple days ago it was like basically 40-something degrees. Yeah. It's not going to get higher than like, I think, 19 today. Um, I'm used to living in Michigan in the winters. So I do have several layers on. I am wearing my sunglasses because it helps to see in the snow. Because uh, the white is blinding. But yeah, it's really cold, but considering I already know at least one person called out of my department today, that means there's only one or two people there right now, and if I don't go in tonight, there won't be anyone there to close it. I don't live very far from work. I am just going to go ahead and finish walking in and do my job. Um, hopefully the streets are a little bit clearer by morning when I have to be there super, super early. Yay! Well, aren't I looking flabulous? <laughs> this is the Whoville version of what I look like when I work several days in a row in all different shifts and they ask me to get up before dawn and go to work before dawn and work and inventory and chickens. Oh my God, the chickens. Hi. No. Can you tell? I'm working on weird amounts of sleep and weird hours at work. Yeah, it's still got like a half ponytail going on here. And this is what like little curly bang things happening. I have antenna. Anyway. I've tried to film this part twice. This is my third time. I'm just going to, whatever comes out of my mouth. Y'all gonna get it. Sorry, but... Whoa. My hair's a mess. I'm a mess. I'm in comfy clothes, though. Like, super comfy shirt with a hood that I never put up. And super comfy pants. And sitting on my bed. And just kind of, like, crocheting. And But... I'm working all kinds of weird hours at work. I'm closing, and then I'm opening, and then I'm in the middle, and then I'm... Yeah. So... This is what my real life week is like. Uh, I haven't been writing a lot in the past month. I did write. And when I say I haven't been writing a lot in the past month, um, my prequel is over 10,000 words at the moment. So, okay. That's, that's a lot. That's, come on, guys. For somebody who wasn't writing on a regular basis... And wasn't writing a lot. My prequel is still over 10,000 words. Um, so I'm switching my diet. Am I switching it overnight? No. Am I asking the girls to switch theirs? No. But I'm switching my diet. And I'm trying to get this sweater done. And I should be working on my bullet journal. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, it will get done at some point. You guys will probably get a video of it. At some point, I might have to film certain pages before finishing other pages so that I can start those pages because February's tomorrow. Where the heck did January go? Am I the only one who, like, woke up 
January 1st going, Woo, New Year, blah, blah, blah. Not new me, just same old me, but New Year. I got all these plans, all these goals, all these whatever. All this time, 365 days of a new year to do. And then you felt like you fell asleep. Woke up sick. Fell back asleep. Woke up, went to work, fell back asleep. Woke up and it was February. Because I do. I don't know whether it's the fact that I'm chronically ill or the fact that I am a chronic overworker or the fact that I am a extreme introvert who is way over peopled with work because there's people all the time everywhere or if it's just literally January flew by I don't know and I don't know where I'm going with this other than I decided y'all are gonna get you know the real me for a week um which means okay I filmed on Saturday but I didn't film yesterday um today's Monday cool um I probably won't film tomorrow. I will likely film on Wednesday. Am I going to write? I don't know. Uh, I usually write on Wednesdays, but I haven't been writing because self-care and needing to relax and remembering to relax and forcing myself to relax and take it easy. And I want to finish this sweater. So, yeah. Um, I have plans. I have a planner and a bullet journal and many, many other journals. And notebooks and you would and binders and I over plan everything and sometimes I get it all done and sometimes I don't and that's my life dude I uh, I am a control freak who lets go of a lot of control on a daily basis which is really weird to say I don't like leaving anything for the next shift at work and yet I have to I don't like not knowing what tomorrow I plan on doing. And yet, even if I plan it, I don't know what my health's going to be like. So I could plan 50 million things to do, and which is only a slight over-exaggeration. And then only do like two. And one of them, maybe I managed to take a shower that day. So, or I managed to go to work that day. Or, hey, I cooked that day. So, yeah. <laughs> this is me. This is how I'm messy and my whole real life is just... I forget to call people. Or I think about calling people, but calling them would mean I'd have to people and I'm tired of peopling. And I'd rather turn on a YouTube video and lay down and say, oh, I'm in pain. I'll do it in a little bit. And then I fall asleep and it's the next day. And then I'm like, oh, well, I'll call them when I get off work. And then days go by doing that. And guess what? I don't end up calling people. Because. I don't know. Because I have no energy to people. And then I have to people. Regardless of whether I have energy to people. And. Then when I try to take the time not to people and to relax, I feel guilty for not peopling with the people I want to people with. It's a lot of people. So I'm heading into work. There's snow. Lots of snow. But it's melting. There's a little bit of grass on the ground. It's Tuesday. My long day this week. <laughs> so we had a snowstorm with cold temperatures. It's starting to melt now a couple days later. And in another couple days, it'll probably be gone. Because we're going to have a bunch of rain. <laughs> and warmer temperatures. Oh, this place is weird. Anyway. I just thought I'd show that. I don't know why. I also, because I've been working like opposite shifts for the last four days. So I worked two closed and two open. Like first thing in the morning open. Um, I slept in. Until like 45 minutes ago, I did drink coffee. See you guys when I see something else to add. You ever have a day at work that's just no? Like, no? Like, everything's going fine, but then all of a sudden everything's no because it just goes chaotic and you're like, the heck is going on? Oh, my Lanta. Yeah, that was me. So I have. That new pink Mountain Dew, 
I have a full pot of coffee. I have a monster. I have tomorrow off. I have sushi my coworker made for me. And I bought myself chocolate. Because no. <laughs> God. But I'm good. And I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Because last night I spent like an hour ripping out work I did on that sleeve that I was crocheting. And then I spent like two hours re-crocheting what I'd messed up. It's not ready to show. I need to chill. I'm going to eat sushi, which is somewhat good for me. Chocolate, which is really bad for me. And a bunch of caffeine. Bye. So it's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. I honestly got up, threw clothes on this morning, went like this to my hair to kind of flatten it, and stuck my baseball cap on my head for work. <laughs> so when I took the hat off, my hair was like, Pah! it is what it is. We had somebody call off today, so it was just me and the chef until like 2.30 and for like, I don't know, chef left at like 2, so yeah, it was busy, but it was alright, it wasn't bad, we've had worse days when there's only two people, and we've been shorthanded for ages, um, sis got amazing grades last semester, like 3.9 grade point average, She's passed her driver's education, so now she can go to the driving school, plus we can get a discount on the car insurance. So, yeah. And she got a new job. Like, what? 24 hours go by, 36 hours go by, and everything goes, <laughs> Um, I've been eating a lot more vegetable, plant-based type meals this week. Trying to improve my health because my guts were not being nice to me. And I've been drinking more water, which I need to do because, you know, kidneys need water, not apparently monsters. Um, that's my first monster today. I had water all day at work. And I'm not cough talking just coffee or tea. I actually drank water. But I say, you know, I had... I'm being healthier while I'm sitting here eating. It's like this big, just like the circle, um, mini chocolate fudge cheesecake. It's yummy. I thought I deserved some sugar. Not that I didn't eat a lot of sugar yesterday, because I did. But, yeah, um, tomorrow I'm closing at work, and... I will probably edit this video after that. Um, I don't think I've done an intro to this. And I'm not going to do the outro now. But yeah, that was that was definitely my, uh, my week. Where it's... Oh, 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 oh. Look it, look it, look it. I ordered this. It's from the Hooser Heel Farms. Cheddar cheese powder. Gourmet. The reason I ordered this, if you go to, I think it, I think her channel name is One Acre Homestead. I think. I'll link it anyway. And I'll link the specific video I'm talking about. She made fishy crackers. Like the goldfish crackers. Like the flavor blasted goldfish crackers. And of course she has a dehydrated, her dehydrator herself but um everything else in the recipe I already have so I was like I'll just go see if I can't find the cheese powder relatively inexpensively and I did because that I think this was like $12 and that is one solid pound of powdered cheese I seriously doubt I will go through that in six months even if I make goldfish crackers Continuously. So. And she shreds the cheese herself that she puts in there. But um, I'm going to buy shredded cheese because I don't have. I mean, I could grate it. 
but I don't have a food processor and yeah. But I'm waiting on my fish cracker cookie cutters, I guess, um, to come in. So, yeah, that's going to be fun when that comes in. And I'm going to make an entire video when I make them because we go through fishy crackers like crazy. But I'm going to let you guys go for now. I had a good week. Um, tomorrow I'll make my... Wait. So I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I had five days in a row. I had Wednesday off, today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And then I'll probably have to work Friday, or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday again. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's still Thursday. Kidney belly. Um, <laughs> I thought for a while while I was cooking dinner, we had breakfast for supper again. The, um, I'm probably not going to want to come home tomorrow. And do a whole lot of video stuff. Now, does that mean I'm not going to edit the video tomorrow night and put it up? No. It means I'll do the intro in the morning when I get up. And I'll do the outro in the morning when I get up. And then I'll put it all together. And if something changes, I'll... But I don't want to do any more talking tomorrow. Why? Because by the time I get off of work, I'm going to be tired. Because <sighs> it's not even 7 o'clock right now and I'm tired. But I worked 8 hours today. Anyway. And I wanted to update you guys on the sweater situation. Because it's a situation. I have to end this line. But I, through either fault of my own from reading the pattern wrong, which has been known to happen even though I've been crocheting, you know, over 30 years, or because the sleeves are thinner on that sweater, and I don't really like tight sleeves on most of my sweaters, especially now that I've got some um, arm muscle, even though the bottom's kind of chubby. Um, I, and this is not inside out yet. I had to, once I got the sleeves done, and I did one, and then I did the other, and then I was like, <gasps> but it's not going to go around my bicep, and that's not going to work. And I did make these extra long because I want them to be long. I decided I needed to add more width to the sleeves. So that's why it goes this way in the color scheme. And then you have a vertical stripe, or horizontal stripe. Horizontal, because in the picture that you're looking at, the video that you're looking at, this would be vertical, this would be horizontal. So, the sleeves are done. The main body of that sweater is done. I have to do... The sleeves are also put together down the seam. I have to seam the shoulders of the sweater, add the sleeves, and add the neck shaping, like the ribbing and the buttonholes and the buttons. Um, but I'm not doing that tonight or tomorrow because it, it irritated me the the... I had to rip that one out because I did something wrong and I put too many stitches and, and no, 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 no. So you're going to see the green sweater next week because it will be done by this time next week. Hopefully actually by Thursday next week, but it will be done by the time you see next week's weekly wrap up. The other thing I'm working on, and I learned a new stitch called the lemon peel stitch, which is just a single crochet alternated with a half double crochet and then rotate it back around when you're doing a sleeve. And I did one sleeve, and this is a cotton. And I'm working on the other. See, it gets real puffy. And the lady who made this sweater uh, made like three-quarter sleeves or half sleeves. And I have made them so they'll be all the way down to my wrist and a little bit like baggier. Um, and I'm going to try to have both those sleeves because they're real simple and real fast to work up. And I don't have to pay attention too much of what I'm doing. A little bit. Not too much. And the body, which is, again, worked in the same stitch. So, I'm hoping to have both sweaters done next week 
and the pocket to Hopi's hoodie that I made her, hoodie sweater. Um, and just to prove that I'm drinking water, <clears throat> see this big jug here? It is a thousand milliliters, just over 32 ounces of water. So it's probably like 34 ounces of water or whatever. This is water. I know it doesn't look like water. It's got three lemon slices in it, three lime slices in it, three orange slices in it, which is what's giving it this color. Um, and then a tiny, tiny bit of honey because I also added a tablespoon and a half of my fire cider in here. This is actually sweet. It is not sour at all. Um, it's too sweet for Hopi. You can get a little bit kick on the back. And for spice, this will be the second one of these I've drank in 24 hours if I drink it before 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But I'll be at work at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I'll probably be working on my third one of these. Which is why I know I have this headache because I'm going through a little bit of caffeine withdrawal. Because I jumped from, oh, I'm going to drink like four or five cups of coffee, a monster, a soda, like a 24 ounce soda, and a 16 ounce monster, and then one 20 ounce of water because, you know. And I'm aware Monster's horrible for my kidneys, but at the moment I had half a cup of coffee today, half of, half of a half, so a quarter of a 24 ounce Mountain Dew, and then water all day, and I'm going through caffeine withdrawal, and I'm having migraine, so even though I don't want to drink too much Monster or too much caffeine, a monster is the quickest way for me to get enough caffeine in my system quickly for the migraine to go away while using medication that, you know, isn't prescription. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. Yeah, Friday. Came home after work. And, uh. Got some noodles on, gonna throw some shrimp and some crushed garlic and some olive oil and some butter in it. Got garlic bread going. That's supper. Wasn't a bad week so far. Wasn't a bad week at all. See you guys tomorrow because I still have to do January's giveaway and winner announcement and I haven't done it yet. So I'll do it tomorrow. See you guys then. Thanks for being around. Bye. Oh, and I came home and put the heating pad on my back, too. If you're wondering why I'm, like, going insane, I opened my sushi and ended up with a lap full of the crunchy topping mango pieces. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm spicy mayo. That's okay, though. It'll be all right.